We're going to the lighthouse. Okay, let's go to the lighthouse. There's a tiny little owl up there. What are you doing out, tiny little owl? Let me see if I can get closer to him. Laser house. Laser house. This is kind of fun that we're doing the things that we missed on our way up the coast. Yeah. I wasn't sure we'd get a chance to do things. Like the hike we did yesterday. Yeah, it was nice yesterday. Yeah. Thanks for coming out here, I'm excited to get a chance to do this. Yeah. The bed and breakfast, it says. Oh. Wow. Yeah, there's a blanket, like a modern blanket and a can of soda. Somebody let their artichokes flower. Ah. Yeah, they still have some raised bed gardens. We're now heading up to the actual lighthouse. Do you know what's weird about this one versus the other ones we've been to? What? How far away the lighthouse is from the keeper's house. Oh. Wait, was that the keeper's or the assistant? That was the assistant. The keeper's would have been right next to it. Oh. So this is the path from both of their houses up to the actual lighthouse. Huh. I wonder if there just wasn't... Enough room? Or hospitable enough up there. Yeah. If it was just too stormy. I don't know. But anyway, we're on our way up. It's really beautiful up here. Yeah. This is really neat. And look, it used to be a footpath. This looks like the remnants of an old concrete footpath up to the lighthouse. This looks like what you think of as a fairy tale when you're a kid. <laughs> it just needs a little bit of mist. assistant keeper and where the original main keeper's house were from what I saw down below. It's 
I read on the sign what the concrete path was. What? It used to have along this road on the side, the cliff side, was a board rock walk with a handrail. Uh huh. And that's what they would use to get up here to mine the lighthouse. And the handrail was so they could find it in the dark and in fog. Yeah. And then they replaced it in the 20s with the concrete path. Oh, wow. These are two of the lower buildings, and then the lighthouse tower itself. And down below, over there, are the keepers' houses. And then out to sea. There's waves hitting the rocks pretty good down here. Look at the stone on this thing. And it's brick inside. You can see it through the window. Up top, they still have the old Fresnel lens. It's gigantic. I feel like somebody found like an old toy from the early 1900s and then built a life-size replica. Like, does that make sense? Yeah. Like if you had like a model train set and it's, your model train went by a lighthouse, this is what it would look like. It feels like this is what Walt Disney would have built at one of the parks. Yeah, it just... Like that was sort of like all the uh, fantasy, like sort of... Um, like when you go through the mouth of the whale and yeah. then you go around to all of the miniatures, like this would have been one of the miniatures, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. I really like lighthouses. One, because they're mostly intact from early 1900s, late 1800s, and I just like that stuff. And two, they're like a strictly mechanical fix for a problem that existed. And it's like, uh, they're not just out here to mark rocks and stuff, they're specific navigation aids. So each lighthouse had its own signature. So when you're going along the coast at night, you would see the timing of the flashes and the colors and you would be able to tell from the charts what lighthouse you were looking at on the shore so you knew exactly where you were along the coastline. And yeah, that would mark rocks and stuff because then you would look at your charts and you'd see dangerous areas marked on your charts because you knew exactly where you were. And it was just like this um, mechanical fix for something. Like they had counterweights that would come down through the center of the tower to cause them to spin. They used... Uh, oil lamps at the very beginning and strictly mechanical parts for the lenses to amplify the light and make it so the flashes could be seen dozens, tens, 30, 30, 40 miles away until you lost it over the horizon. Cool stuff like that. I like it. And they've all gone, not all of them, some of them are still in existence because it's just if you lose all your navigation aids, you can the charts are still updated with what their current signatures are. Woo! Ooh, windy. And they used to have fog horns that also had their own signature. So when you're out at sea at during the day and can't see the light and you're fogged in, you could listen for the horn and it would have a specific signature and you could tell where you were off the coast. Just really cool. I like that. I love that about you. It makes you a very multifaceted person because he's also an IT person and a photography person and uses a lot of digital equipment just makes you there's a lot of depth to you Ryan Besley and it's windy out here <laughs>
So this path, the concrete that's crumbling away, 1920s, 100 years ago, hmm. they put that in. Really? Yeah, isn't that nuts? That's insane. There goes the sun. Well, the sun is setting. We lost most of our daylight. But uh, this is a really cool place. I'm glad we came out. I am too. Next, we head farther south down the coast. Still on the coast. Yes, that's true. But farther south. This part is so pretty. I really like this part. This section of the coast. This is the second time we've been here this year. Enjoy the sunset. We'll yeah. see you later. Oh, don't forget to subscribe. Oh yeah. We never say that. We're terrible at it. We always forget to do that. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you can watch more videos of us doing this kind of thing. Whatever if, this if is. If that's your thing. Whatever this Whatever is. Whatever this is. Uh, now you can enjoy the sunset. Bye.